What's happening YouTube? JR Raymond back again, coming to you from Bowler X Pro Shop and Training Center inside Waterford Lanes in Waterford, Michigan, where today we've got that dark web uh, by Hammer. Uh, typical layout on it, again, 25 by four and a half by 45. Uh, and we've got it out here on a typical 44 foot lead condition. And we've seen some balls go down the lane a little bit, so you might see some transition. Uh, another bowling ball that I would expect to be really good playing straighter, uh, not so much playing in, but I've been fooled before, so we'll see what happens. Uh, but we're gonna take it out here on a typical 45 for 44 foot lead condition and see what she's got here in a minute. Stay tuned. They say bowling is a dying sport. A dying sport. <laughs> I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. BowlerX.com for the love of bowling. All right, y'all, we got dark web now. I know you've been waiting for this one. It's been a while. I gave you the five shot preview of it, but we haven't done a full review. Um, so we're going to take this. It is the typical. Uh, this one's got 25 by four and a half by 30, I believe. I think we went a little taller, but no, there's 45 still. 45 still. Um, we're going to start a little straighter. See if this ball will blend that outside part of the lane. And we'll keep going left and see what happens. Oh, missed left. Woo, but she sat there. That's good news. Missed left and it sits there and hooks and strikes. Bada boom, bada bing. It's such a beautiful thing. That's what we like. That's what we like. Now let's go five left. Quick five left. It'll be five and two. Let's see what it does now. Same position, same hand position. Oh, that's another stone eight. I just stone eight. What the, what is the melee? Was it this only? Yeah, the melee. Good grief. That's a good shot. That looked really good though. Minus the fact it didn't hit the eight pin. I did the right thing. Let's go another five left. This ball's a little quicker down lane than I anticipated. A little sharper angle. Same hand position, still rolling it. Right around that 17 range. Ooh, bad balance. But it's still picked up. Read the middle lane perfect. That one drove through the eight pin, so no worries on getting the eight out there. Five more left, folks. This one should be quick because this one's doing all the right things. We should be about 19, 20. Still rolling it. See if it gets the 10 out. I got the 10 out, but that one kind of hook stoppy, so it is definitely a time. But we're going to have to roll around it just a pinch. Get our hand around it, rotate just a little bit. All right, we'll rotate just a little bit. thing's ridiculous. It's doing all the right things. Just like the Melee. A little bit stronger version of the Melee. That carbon you saw. All right, I'm get up against the ball return now. See if it keeps running the 8-pin over. That it does, but it almost missed the nine pin this time. All right, one more shot in front of the ball return. This is a quick video. This thing looks good. This thing looks really good. It's reading. It's not quite reading the front front, but it's reading the middle and the back really nicely. This is where I'm a little concerned, but I don't know why. It's done the right thing everywhere else. Ooh, got it right. Way right. All right, we're going to try that one again. Because that was not very good. Not very good at all. I wanted to make sure I got it right and over the left-hand dry. 
I did both. I got it over and right. <laughs> All right, let's try again. Yeah, a little strong there but it still has a chance to go through the pen. So this is one you could probably use all around the lane. And there you go, the strength of another hammer bowling ball. I was super shocked to see that it actually got around the corner from deeper deeper angles, steeper angles in the front part. I, I, I just, I never would have expected that out of that type of a bowling ball. You know, so they proved me wrong once again. Um, what it's gonna look like on something tougher, I'm really honestly not that sure. Uh, I like the way it looks here. It's definitely going to be a great league bowling ball. It blended the lane very nicely playing straighter. And as I moved left, it did the exact same thing. And it continued through the pins, and it just kept going over the eight pin. So that was nice to see. And even when I got further left, it did struggle when I got in front of the ball return, but I think it's because of such a steep angle. Um, and it is a little bit stronger bowling ball, so getting around that corner would make it tough. But um, I don't know that I'd use it in front of the ball return, but everywhere outside of that, this ball is going to be pretty good. So make sure to get yours in the link in the description down below at BowlerX.com or come up here to BowlerX Pro Shop and Training Center and uh, Greg and I will take care of you or go to BowlerX in uh, Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Lee and Crystal will take care of you over there. So that's all I got for you. Make sure to comment below. Let me know, all you hammerheads, what you think of this bowling ball. And until next time, I'm out of here. We'll see you guys later. Take care.